Bucks have, uh, it seems like they might be leaning towards James Winston. How, how does that make you feel as one of the guys at the top of the draft? Um, doesn't doesn't really affect me at all. Um, you know that's that's going to be their opinion. That's going to be their decision. Um, all I can really control is, you know, how I how I prepare and, and get ready for whatever team picks me. I assume you feel you're worthy of the first overall pick. Uh, so why do you feel that? Uh, I mean, you know, any any player will stand in front of you and tell you that they're confident in their abilities, and um, you know, I'm, I'm no different. You know, I feel that you know what I've what I've been able to do at the University of Oregon, what I've learned, um, has prepared me for this level. I haven't been able to communicate them with or communicate with them at all. What have you been doing? Jameson Crowder, podium B. Jameson Crowder, podium B. Yeah, um, I've been, you know, I've been able to. While working with Kevin O'Connell, he's he's giving me a play sheet, and at night he tells me to just read read the read the play calls out loud, and um, you know that's some 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 little, but you know I think as uh, you know this process goes, it's going to help me whenever you know whatever team that I get to in, in terms of just speaking in the huddle and, and articulating the plays. How new is that for you? It's new. I haven't done it since high school, so uh, it's been a while. Yes, I'll be throwing it. Uh, it was something that you know I, I had decided. Um, you know I felt that you know I was ready and, and prepared to do it. How's the shoulder? Mark? Feels good. Yeah. Any issues at all? No, not at all. How much of the adjustment do you think it will be for you just to play in the uh, You know I think for any rookie quarterback it's going to be an adjustment. You know stepping up into this into this new level. Uh, for me, I, I'm gonna continue to, to absorb as much as I can, learn from you know all the people as all the people that I can, and, and do my best in whatever whatever situation that I get into. Marcus, have you looked at all? Marcus, have you looked at all the struggles that other spread quarterbacks have had? The ups and downs, like Robert Griffin, Colin Kaepernick, those sort of guys. Uh, not necessarily. Um, you know, you can't really. You know, for me, I don't really compare myself to other players. Um, you know, I, I really just try to make myself the best player that I can be. And um, you really limit yourself if you compare yourself to others. So um, that's something that I was taught at a young age. So for me, I just really focus on myself and, and make sure that I can be the best player that I can be. What have you learned over the last month about what's going to, what were the challenges are going to be in going from a system like Oregon's into the pros? Uh, you know, for, for us, it's going to be huddling. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't huddled in a while, so that'll be um, you know one thing. And, and to, to everyone, it, it seems like a little detail, but you know that is kind of a big thing. Um, so you know, there's there's other things as well um, in terms of you know the three, five, seven step drops on the center. Um, but you know, that's all stuff that I've been able to work on the last month, and we'll continue to work on. How are you coming along with that? Uh, it's been good. You know, I've been able to work in uh, with Kevin O'Connell, and, and actually Philip Rivers has come out and helped us out as well. So it's been good. Marcus, how do you hear NFL types saying, "Well, I haven't seen him make NFL throws on tape"? What is your reaction when you hear people say that? Again, that's that's other people's opinions. That's that's something that I can't control. Um, for me, all that all it takes is one team to, to believe in me and, and to give me an opportunity, and I'll do my best to make the most of it. Marcus, if the huddling is the biggest effort you can make. Would it be beneficial for you in your career to land with a team like the Eagles or one that does a no huddle a lot for all that would that be better for your career? No, not necessarily. Um, you know, that, and that I mean, that's not really the biggest transition. It's it's part of the process. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you have to go through as a rookie quarterback, and um, for me, that's that's one thing um, amongst a lot. And I'm going to have to do my best to, to be able to handle all of it. Mark, do you believe you're the number one quarterback in this draft? Um, I'm, as an athlete, as a, as a competitor, I, I mean, any any so any person will tell you that they're the best, and I I truly believe that in myself. Um, and you know, I, we'll, we'll see whatever decision is made, but um, you know, I got to go in with that mentality. Marcus, what was your initial meeting with Lovey Smith and, and Jason like, like yesterday when you had a chance to see, see him last night? I wasn't able to sit down with them. You were not able to. What do you think with show speed and arm strength and things like that in a combine setting? But you can't show an ability to make reads. So how do you articulate that to the teams, or how do you show that you can do that? It just starts with the interviews. Um, you know, it's not just blurting out all the all the football information Devin that you know. It's it's kind of processing and show how you Devin think and punches, how you progress in, in your reads and um, just showing what what you were asked to do at, at you know whatever school you're at and, and hopefully they'll uh, believe in what you're saying and, and uh, give you an opportunity. What kind of advice has uh, Philip Rivers given you? 
to, to be myself and to enjoy this process as much as you can. And, um, you know, whatever team gets you and, and when you get there, make the most of it. Mark, it seems like every quarterback here thrives off this idea of adversity and a chip on his shoulder. You know, think of your loss in the national championship game. Are you the kind of guy that likes to, to put those in a place to go back to yourself? Or do you use more of a let-it-go short memory? Uh, that's a good question. You know, I think, um, you know, any, any motivation, um, you know, starts with some type of doubt. And I think, you know, as, as an athlete, I've, you know, built my motivation over the years as well. But a lot of the stuff you have to kind of put in the past and not worry about it, um, you know, and move forward. So it's, I would say, a mixture of both. What's your best throw and what was your favorite play call at Oregon? Um, coach, coach. First off, Coach Helfridge and Coach Frost would not allow me to say what the play call is. Um, but you know, I, for me, I, I enjoy throwing the seam ball um, in, in in three deep coverage. I think for us at Oregon, we did get to see a lot of three three deep zone, and um, you know, our tight ends or you know, some of our slot receivers are kind of able to to get in those zones, and you know, it's a, it's a fun throw because it's you can't put too much onto it because you'll. You know, throw it into the linebacker's face. You got to put enough touch over it to, to kind of put it over the linebacker and, and have enough zip on it to be in front of the safety. Is there any way to sort of mimic the complexity of the defense? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just kind of the defense. Could you just repeat the question, please? Is there any way to sort of mimic the complexity of the defense? Is there any way to sort of mimic the complexity of the defense? You know, it's it's gonna be tough, um, but for the most part, just just learning as much as you can, learning from people like Philip and, and Kevin, and um, you know, finding ways to continue to make good decisions with the football. Is playing your chip against something you considered, or, or or something you think is even possible? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, why I'm, why not? You know, I think that that'd be a fun fun opportunity. Um, but again, you know, this this process is out of our hands, out of our control, and um, we'll see what happens. I mean, Mark, uh, could you repeat the question? Have you met with Chip yet? I have not. I haven't. I've met with uh, the quarterback coach, but I haven't met with Coach Kevin. Mark, you're training with that guy. Excuse me. You're training alongside Jameis Winston and Bryce Petty, right? Yes, um, at, at Prolific Athletes, but I'm working with Kevin O'Connell as my what's, quarterback coach. What's your relationship been, uh, been like with those guys, knowing you're competing? I, you know, for us, it's it's not really, you know. I, I mean, it's a competition. It's a friendly competition that allows everyone to get better. Um, it's not in the sense of, you know, you, you wish bad amongst them. You just try to go out there and, and make the most of your opportunity. And I think all of us understand that you know, playing in the NFL is a dream that we've had since we were little kids. And, you know, we're all pushing each other to make the most of it. Again, um, you know, all, all the situations, you know, you kind of play in your head, but um, it's really out of our control, and we won't know until uh, draft day. So, you know, that would be an awesome opportunity. I'd love to play for the Browns, um, but for, for right now, I just really, you know, you, you can't really control those things, so I don't try to worry about it. Marcus, how much does the, the concern about your game translating to the NFL game, how much does that fuel your determination to prove everybody wrong if you can play in this game? You know, I, I guess you could say it's it's a little bit of motivation, but it's not the reason why I'm doing it. You know, there's there's a purpose of why I'm here and why I'm standing in front of you, and that's you know because I love the game. I want to be a part of this this game. I want to be a part of this game for a long time. And, um, you know, my motivation isn't to prove anybody wrong. Um, you know, my motivation is just to to make a dream come true for me. In your mind, what what makes you stand out from all the other quarterbacks? In this place? Why should the team take you before it takes any other quarterback? In your mind. I mean that's just, that's the opinions of, of the teams. Uh, you know, I, I don't really care. I'm not I'm not trying to compare myself to any other quarterback. Marty, how much of an adjustment will it be if you go into a pro, more of a pro style offense? You know, I think it'll be it'll be an adjustment um, that you know I'll be able to handle. Um, you know, it's something you know I'm going to continue to to work on with with Philip and um, you know different different other quarterback coaches right now because Kevin's with the Browns, but for the most part, just learning as much as I can, you know, trying to pick up as much of the concepts, um, you know, learning how my drops 
uh, time up with with the route concepts and how my feet you know are gonna help me go through my progressions so and a lot of this stuff is, is little bit little little things that I can continue to work on and uh, will help my adjustment Mark, have you talked to any other quarterbacks who've been in the spread that have transferred to the NFL and, and what they went through what they did to try to make the transition more easy for themselves? I have not Marcus, have you, Marcus just one thing it's the competition aspect of it. You know, this is this is an opportunity now to play with the best, and uh, you know, in order to to make it in this league, you got to continue to compete and and put your best foot forward every single day. And um, you know, right now there's guys all across the country that are, that are playing in this league that are already getting ready for next season. And uh, you know, with that mentality, you got to always kind of be. Uh, fi or find ways to get better, and um, that's what I love about this game is that you can always get better. How do you feel about teams like the Eagles, like all the different teams out here, teams trying to move up, to trade up to draft you? It's nice, but you know, that's stuff that you know, you, it's out of our control, and it, you'll, people will always talk, there will always be rumors, um, but for the most part, you know, right now in this process for me, I'm just trying to. You know, be the best player that I can be in order to make an impact on at whatever team that I go to. When you turned on the scene, two more questions. was that a football decision or a health decision? Uh, it was a mixture of both. Um, I felt that at, time, at that point in time, um, you know, I wasn't feeling to the best of my abilities. Um, and, you know, I thought that, you know, my, my best step forward would be just going into San Diego and getting ready for, for this process. What, what kind of speed do you have? Excuse me? What kind of speed do you have? I, don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, I'll do my best to run, you know, under a 4 or 5, but we'll see. Marcus, how soon do you think you'll be ready to play in a pro style offense? Could you be ready on opening day next year or be, you know, eight weeks into the season or be a year, two years? You know, my goal is, is to, to make an impact from day one. I think, you know, I'm going to continue to have that mentality, um, you know, find ways to improve myself in order to, to be ready for, for day one. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, Marcus.